Do you feed raw? Do you feed kibble? Science is now saying that raw is better. Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Click there to subscribe. Hit the bell to sign up for notifications. And then when you click the link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book. So what is better to feed your dog? Raw food, as many of the raw dog foodies claim, or kibble, super convenient. Many veterinarians say this is the way to go. It's all balanced. Ah, and those same veterinarians I was one of them, I confess, were the same ones that say there's no science behind feeding raw, super dangerous, it's gonna provide zero benefit to your dog. Ah, turns out, science is siding with these guys. Fairly recently, the University of Finland published a study done on dogs that were fed raw food, dogs that were fed kibble, and in particular, they were looking at healthy dogs and dogs that had atopy, that's environmental allergy. What is an atopic dog, you may be wondering. You know, you've got a dog that's chronically licking his paws, chronically itching his skin, this constant hair loss, you know, scratching, licking in the groin, thickening, the blackening of the skin, recurring ear infections, all those so many different things that we see with dogs that have this chronic atopy or environmental allergy. Atopy is super difficult to treat. I had you know, many former clients that would say like their biggest change came when they really switched the diet from kibble to feeding raw, you know, but mm, many veterinarians, especially those that have the scientific bent are just like, nah, no way. Like all the sciences do not feed raw. No real benefit, potentially a lot of harm. But so what they found is that diet has a huge impact on skin gene expression especially when we're looking at whether or not a dog has allergies, atopy, or normal healthy skin. They identified a number of specific genes linked to our dog's skin, but in particular, whether those genes were expressed, like how they had their impact, was directly correlated with what, whether or not those dogs were eating a raw food diet versus eating a traditional kibble diet. So by feeding your dog raw, i.e. this raw beef, it's doing a couple different things. You know, one, making the skin's immune defenses far more effective, like ugh, blocking those environmental allergens from penetrating through the skin barrier. Secondarily, increasing antioxidants, which are having this anti-inflammatory effect. You know, really making it so your dog can respond appropriately and not be all itchy. They've found that these genes play a big role in a normal functioning skin barrier. Really, that's kind of key. Uh, if you're a dog not developing atopy in the first place. I mean, if the, your dog has a healthy functioning skin barrier, you know, those surface allergens, they can't penetrate through the skin barrier wall, triggering that whole inflammatory cascade. So that being said, you just, you know, like throw the kibble, stop feeding this crappy stuff. Well, actually, I think you probably should. And I'm trying to feed way less of this to Tula in spite of its convenience. And I know, I know if I'm gonna feed her more raw, it's probably dang more healthier for her, but it's, you know, a little more of a deal, right? Hmm. So, Tula, what do you think? Should we stick with the raw food? They did say it's a small sample size. They need to do a bunch of follow-up research, repeat this studies. But it's sure a pretty interesting results to see, you know, how, like, the so-called, like, ooh, Scary raw dog can be so beneficial for our dogs, uh, especially in pre potentially preventing our dogs from becoming allergic in the first place. And do you really think it's way better to be like <sighs> filling up your dog with kibble than having them turn into becoming allergic and then you get to feed them some immunosuppressive drug the rest of his life? Eh, I don't think so. I think it's a heck of a lot better to be preventing it with diet. Maybe we should let the poodle decide. Poodle, do you want this yummy kibble or this, man, I don't know, this dangerous raw food? No, look at the kibble. No, mm, it's so good for you. Oh, she seems to be choosing the raw. Kibble, raw, oh, it's raw beef for the poodle. 
Thanks so much for watching this edition of Veterinary Secrets on this new scientific study on feeding raw and helping our dogs with atopy. Click up there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign up for notifications, and then when you click the link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book.